The dangers of fireworks in the Philippines is quite a serious subject. You may have seen in the media uh, relating to a guy, a drunken guy, that was hugging a goodbye Philippines firework, which basically blew him up. Um, quite a large firework. But another thing with fireworks, a lot of them are made in the Philippines. I mean literally made. Made in people's houses. There's areas that have these huge fires every year. Manila's famous for it. <laughs> and even in Cebu we've had some fires uh, where people making fireworks. Because uh, what you find is the Christmas wrapping paper ends up being the covers for these fireworks for the uh, New Year celebrations. Now people have also talked about the um, warding off evil spirits with their bangers and what have you. They do that, but you've also got the idiots that will throw a um, what we call a jumping jack in the UK, I'm not sure what you call it in the US, um, into the back of a jeepney. Obviously, people go into blind panic with the fireworks going off at their bare legs because obviously, the Philippines, most people are either wearing a skirt, shorts, where basically their legs are exposed, flip flops. It's it's not funny, um, and we, there's about 350 people injured. Um, they, they'll be much higher than that. Let's put it that way. That's only based on the information they have. So I would say that's only a very small minority. The next thing is guns. Uh, Philippines police have the the tops of the guns uh, taped off. Uh, this is because during the celebrations they start shooting the guns off and obviously bullets go up they also do come down um, which is where you, there's a risk of being killed um, I've been to a party where somebody threw a, a, a box of bullets in the fire for example <laughs> people do really crazy things and some of it's out of drunkenness some of it's out of I don't know what you know I don't think some of the consequences are even thought of sometimes but this is why at this time of year be careful. Um, I've never really had any issues myself, but I've known things that happen, and you'll see it on the news here in the Philippines where people are being set on fire and all sorts, entire villages burned to the ground. Because you've got to remember, they build, you know, especially shanties, the walkways end up like this with the roofs, the metal roofs. So the wooden structures are less than a foot apart. Higher, because you got to make the walls go up and then the roofs go out. So, although you can walk under it, there's very little gap between the buildings. So when this one catches fire, it spreads really easy. You don't have the fire breaks of a wide road, for example. That's why when they go, oh, there's a thousand houses burnt. It's because you got dry wood, you got termite damaged wood, you've got all sorts of combustibles there, LPG gas bottles, all sorts in those areas and then you've got firework factories in the middle of it <laughs> so this is why these things happen and they happen every single year um, I've never had a year in the Philippines where there hasn't been a major catastrophe I know with Cebu they've tried to reduce the risks the firework vendors were set up at, along the um, what do they call it the SRP which is like a, a motorway and they were like even marking out the distances between each stall so they weren't too close together with one caught fire it didn't set fire to all of them so they, they do try to con contain it but you've got to imagine these people often do stuff that just doesn't make sense um who would sit in the back of their house and make fireworks for example there you go um but yeah just be aware of it it, it can be risky but at the same time in certain environments you're not going to see much of it like I said the the thing with the bullets that I had is we actually have some friends that are with with the the police and military etc and sometimes they do crazy stuff <laughs> but the um, but generally it's not a problem as long as you're aware of it I've seen videos before with some of the expats that have been near some of the shanty villages that have caught fire uh, because it spreads like lightning because you can't get the fire engines in so the one thing that does go is the fire builds up because the, they're struggling to get access to the fire in the first place so by the time they've actually managed to get something in there 
it's already spread beyond repair. You know, your containment um, is just a just a pig. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share that because it's not something you may be used to with people shooting guns in the air and whatever uh, in celebration of New Year. Thanks for watching. Yeah.